Hello everybody and welcome. It looks like we have something very special in front of us. That looks like, is that a dinosaur? Is that a dinosaur? So, we are at the dinosaur park in Ogden and they are selling season passes really cheap right now so let's go pick one up and see if we can just spend a, couple, a little bit of time here. I don't have a lot of time here but just a little bit. We are in, look at this, look. It's a mammoth. It's a mammoth. It's really tall. I forgot how tall it was. So I'm actually waiting for my season pass to be made right now. But it was on sale and it's awesome. And I was actually like, oh, it's just a dinosaur park. But then I got in here, I was like, I'm really excited. There's that thing. I don't know what that thing is, but it's really cool looking. There's these boys. They're really goofy looking. Just look at all these dinosaurs. Look at the size of this neck. It goes on and on and on and on and on and on this neck is like so long they said they can grow up to 90 feet but this is just like part of it look how crazy that is all right i am officially a member of the dinosaur park so now i can go see all these lovely dinosaurs so something really cool about this park is it's not just like fossils and whatnot it's a whole bunch of like models of dinosaurs everywhere so like there's this huge path and you can just go see all these dinosaurs. Look at the size of that bear. And look at that. That's a very upset, like tiger, and a very stale bear. I will say, I haven't been here for probably like last day a year. I came here on a date, but it seems like they did a really good like paint job on a lot of these. Like some of these are still a little, need a little cleaner paint, but for the most part, they were not looking this good the last time I was here, so I'm very excited to see that they're still taking care of everything. Lost Trail. Well, we better go down it because it's lost. It sounds really loud and has a lot of water, it sounds like. So I've been on the Lost Trail for like a good minute. I'm not seeing a dinosaur yet, so... I mean, it's a nice little trail. I don't give it that. But I haven't seen any dinosaurs yet, so... We're still on the lookout. I hear stuff, but, oh, oh, hold on. We finally found our dino. We found two dinos, actually, and a lovely hornet that we're not going to say hi to. Look at our dinos. But also, look at this. That water is almost onto that trail. That is a lot of water and very rapids. Well, that was quite scary. So, we ha I was just looking at this dino, and then that speaker just started, like, Ron needs to go to that activities. I didn't know that dino could talk. Oh. And it was saying the part might close in an hour soon, too. Very scary. So here's something kind of cool. You can look at all the dino footprints, see how big your feet compare to the dino. I wear about 11, so. That Triceratops, it's got some big feet. Some really big feet. Look at the size of those. I mean, they even have these cute little trails you can pass over. I go into the very scary river across the street. It's a raptor. A very feathery raptor and very bright to say the least. I think these are actually pretty brand new. And if we go right over here, you can actually see like when the dinos, like the, when all the dinos were around. So that's kind of cool. So you can kind of know what era they were in. So it looks like there's a cave right here. Let's see what's in the cave. The very, very dark cave. Oh, it's, it's not actually. So it's a cave and it has a couple of dinosaur bones, but it looks like we've had some boulders fall down. But there's some dinos. Echo! Only an empty cave. Was hoping for much more. Now, I don't know if you guys can see that, but there's like a really scary looking dolphin right around here. It's really kind of hard to see with all these bushes around here. But, there's like a really scary dolphin that has teeth. I have no idea what it's called, but 
It's scary enough looking. We also get these really sick fight scenes between dinosaurs. Got these little raptors fighting. I have no idea. It looks like the one dinosaur from Dinosaur, the old Disney film. And also this guy's just like, oh, I'm not going to deal with that. He's on his own. There's just dinosaurs fighting everywhere. We got like this really long neck versus this really scary one. And of course all this dino fighting is right over there next to the kid playground. Also, can we talk about his friend back here that's like, I'm not dealing with that. And you can still see nowadays dinosaurs. This guy's awake. It's the same, chilling. Might fall back asleep. I think I woke him up. I don't know if you guys can hear this, but it's like really loud over here. It's like coming from this dinosaurs over here that are fighting. They're very loud. But they're really cool looking, but very loud. So I'm back over by where the lizards are, where they're just kind of hanging out. And it was really funny, some lady came up and was like, hey you. I'm like, yes. And she's like, does this thing look dead to you? I'm like, I don't think they would just keep it dead like lizard around here. It looks pretty healthy. He's just asleep. Just asleep. And the kids are like, he looks dead. I'm like, no, I think he's just asleep. And these guys, these guys look a little stale. But I don't think these guys do. We got some turtles. Just peeping around. They even got fun photo ops. You can put your kids behind here and say these are the most dangerous creatures in this park. Because Kids are funny like that because they are dangerous. I found him. I found him. I found the scary dolphin. There he is. Look how scary he is. I mean, the other guy doesn't look too healthy either, but he looks real scary. Today is really not that busy. I think the weather might scare everyone off. I was tempted to bring an umbrella, but for the most part, it's been really nice. It's like about 60 degrees. A little windy, so you might hear that on the camera, but pretty much all I got is all these dinosaurs myself and a couple of kids screaming in the background, but that's given. But it's really cool how close you can actually get to these dinosaurs too. But you can actually touch them. I feel bad for these boys because these really long darn dinosaurs are coming for them. Sorry, they were cracking me up. They just, it looks off. Does anyone else think that guy looks a little off to you? I'm, I think he's my probably new favorite dinosaur, but he's just a little out there. These guys look fine. The, he's, he's struggling. So we just got done with the small, the really long arm dinosaurs. And if you look at this guy, he's got the tiny little, little baby arms going on. Look at that, right there. They're so tiny very tiny little baby arms. There's literally so many dinosaurs here. I've only shown you probably like maybe a quarter of them. There is literally just dinosaurs around every corner. And there's like little paths that go off and show a little bit of older dinosaurs, but they're still like really cool looking. Just dinosaurs everywhere. Like look at this. There's just dinosaurs. He's definitely me at three in the morning just sneaking to the fridge to get some olives or some cheese. That's very much me. Dinosaur Parks Museums that dinosaur's talking to us. That dinosaur's talking to us. Once again. So we got this really scary snake, some turtles and stuff. And then we got this really bright frog over there. Very weird. Some one of us don't look like the others. I don't think we're going somewhere good. I see bones. That's not a good sign. There he is. He's the one who caused all these bones. And his little friend on top of the horn. Hello, scary mouse. Did you do this? Did you do this? Or was it your friend, the giant? Ew, he's gross. Nah, it wasn't either of them. It was this little frog. There's little details everywhere that I've never noticed, but look at, look at that little frog. So I think the, this park would be really fun. Um, if it does rain, I would recommend wearing shoes you went care too much about it because it, the paths are pretty um a lot of dirt and whatnot so i think it'd be fine with an umbrella and the main paths are roads but just if you're going on the side pass i probably maybe skip those that day because it's very rough and 
whatnot because I've already almost tripped just while filming. And I also forgot to tell you guys, it's not that expensive to come here. It's about like $9 maybe at most for adults and then like kids. Again, for pretty cheap, I think like $4, or I think. But around that, you got a good like hour and a half, maybe Ron two. To activities, please. Ron, Ron, you better get going. Thank you. Thank you, Ron. But what I was saying, it would be a super good day to spend with your kids around the park. Spend maybe like two hours, and for that much, it's about the same price you would go to go see a movie. So might as well go spend with a whole bunch of dinosaurs. They even got these awesome areas where you can go dig up dinosaurs yourself. Look, you can dig them up. I don't think they have any brushes or anything. I know they have a place inside and outside for you to go dig up dinosaurs. Gotta go live that dream. Live the dream of being a paleontologist. I think that's the right name. I probably could have got that really wrong, but I think that's the right name. The biggest thing you have to watch out for here is the flying dinosaurs. They just come around and you're very scared of them and they're not the ones with wings. They just tend to fly around. And look at this cute little like area you can just go sit in and like relax. Just um, like I could sit here for like a good like half hour and just chill, relax, look at dinosaurs. And is that, is that a duck? Two ducks? We can't even feed the ducks here. It's not dinosaur food, it's duck food. What is this? Hello, Mr. Duck and Mrs. Duck. Oh, oh, look. Just walking along. There they are. Hello, boys. Oh, he tripped. Sorry. And of course, in any theme park fashion, you gotta exit through the gift shop. I don't know if I can film in there, but that's where you exit. They even have this really cool fountain with all these dinosaurs. It looks like since it's still spring, they're not really focusing on it, but soon it'll be up and going. All right, so they're about to close up, so I'm gonna head out. So you actually don't exit through the gift shop because I thought you were going to, but apparently not. So you, you exit past this lovely bridge that has a lovely waterfall. And then you go through this dinosaur gate so the T-Rexes and the Raptors don't get out. And there we go. We are free. Thanks guys for joining me on this lovely adventure going to see some dinosaurs. We'll be back here plenty of times. Because now we got a season pass and we can visit anytime we want. So I'll catch you guys in the next vlog. Or wherever we go because I think tomorrow we might have somewhere very fun. Okay, bye guys.